Today, we're going to install an AI chat assistant onto our website, just like this one over here. Lyra's conversational style makes it easy to chat with real human-like understanding. Installing and setting up Lyra is simple. We'll install the plugin and then we'll customize it to our needs. Lyra will gather information from our website to intelligently answer questions and the process is simple and will take just a few minutes. So let's do it. Type in tidiogo.com and then select get started for free and then create an account with Tidio. What's really great is they don't ask for any credit card details in your website address that you would like Tidio to be installed on. Accept the T's and C's and get started. Now that you've successfully created an account, we can configure the live chat widget. I'll rename the widget with my company name and I'll update my color scheme by choosing one of the variations. You could add a custom color by clicking on the icon or you can change the language of your chatbot. Next, I'm going to upload an avatar. So I'm going to click on it and I'll go to my file system and pick the company logo. Once it's uploaded, you can see it on the chatbot. If you're happy, you can go ahead and click continue. And here you can select the main focus of your chatbot. So I would like it to solve my customers' problems and I would like it to do it by automating conversations on the website. Now select the number of support agents that you'll have and um, select your industry. And then finally, you can choose how many inquiries you expect to receive on a monthly basis. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click continue. And now let's decide how we would like the chatbot to engage with the client on first contact. I'm going to be placing this chatbot on my barbershop site, so I will go with a warm greeting. You can also customize the message. Once you're done with your customizations, you can move on and click continue. We'll be installing on WordPress, so I'd like you to navigate to your WordPress website and then log into your dashboard. From your WordPress dashboard, you can go to plugins and we'll add a new plugin. Now let's search for Tidio and then hit the install now button. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and activate the plugin. You'll now see the Tidio chat on the left of your dashboard. Click on it and then we can log into our account that we created with Tidio. Click login and you can now fill in your account details. Okay, wonderful. That was super easy and we now have a chatbot added to our website. So if I switch to the front of my website, we can now see that the chatbot has been installed and here it is. If I click there, it's asking, hi, how can I help you? So let's test it out for the first time and I'm going to say, I'd like a haircut. Okay, it's asking us to introduce ourselves. So we'll place an email address. I'm just going to make one up here. There's Michelle at Michelle. And okay, so as you can see that the chatbot is there, but it's not actually set up yet because it hasn't been trained yet to answer for our company. So let's go and do that. Here are a list of features we can add to our setup. I'm going to skip to item three and enable Lyro. Lyro is Tidio's AI chatbot and it gives chat GPT-like results. It doesn't just regurgitate information, it answers conversationally using your website's information, which is pretty cool. Okay, so first we're gonna add a knowledge base to the chatbot that Lyro can respond from. And then we're gonna have a look at Lyro in action. Analytics are also available from Tidio and this will allow you to see how Lyro is interacting with your customers and giving you full control. So let's go ahead and click accept. And we have the option to import an FAQ from our website or we can create an FAQ from scratch. So I've got an FAQ page on the website that I've built. So I'm gonna choose that, click next. 
I'll navigate to my website and I'm just going to copy the URL. Copy it over there and paste it in here. And then we're going to import. Okay, so the FAQs have now been imported from the website. And if we click over here on the FAQ list, we can see that this is the information that was gathered by Lyro. If you click on a question, you can also edit it, um, update the answer, or just change the question entirely. And you can also add your own questions as well. But let's head on over back to the playground where we can actually see Lyra in action and how it will interact with our customers. Let's test the chatbot out. So it starts by asking for an email address. This is handy so you don't lose a lead. On first greeting, it introduces itself and informs the customer that it's answering from the FAQ page that I provided. So let's find out how much is a haircut. Okay, so let's give it a moment. Excellent. So Lyra has responded accurately and it says that a haircut starts at $80 but the exact price is dependent on the stylist. So let's go over to the website and we'll go to that question on the FAQ. And you can see that pricing varies depending on the stylist's experience, but a haircut starts at $80. Let's try something else. So we'll go with where can I get a haircut? And you can get a haircut at any of our branches located around South Africa. You can find your nearest branch on our contact page. Okay, do you have a branch in Pretoria? So Pretoria is in South Africa. So let's see what it says. I've also listed Pretoria as one of the branches that you can go to. And it says yes. Yes, you do, and you can get the details on the website, which is excellent. So what hair care products do you sell? And according to our FAQ page, we sell a variety of hair care products that you can purchase either in store or on our website. So as you can see, it's really conversational and it's not just, as I said, regurgitating information it's actually replying intelligently. So I would like to book an appointment and this is great. So it says, of course, you can book an appointment through our website. And importantly, it states the telephone number that I listed on the website. So if I go over to that question, you can see the number is the same. Okay, so if you want to get back to the FAQ page and update any information, you can get back to that page by going to configure and you can see the FAQ over here. But for now, let's go ahead and activate Lyro on our website so that it's live. So you get the notification over here, Lyro is now active and we could disable it if we wanted to by just turning it off again. I'm on my phone and let's test this out as a real customer. And I'm gonna click over here and let's ask it something that it wouldn't know. So I'm gonna say, what is the best haircut for my face shape? Let's see what it does. So it apologizes and it says that it doesn't have enough information and you can now click here to talk to a person and then it's going to transfer you. So now on your dashboard, you will then be able to see that there is a customer that would like to chat to you. Okay, so on the dashboard, we can go over here and we can take a look at any visitors that are on the site and by clicking on it, we can see previous conversations. Next, we can take a look and see if we have any contacts. And here again, these are all of the tests that I did during the day. You can go to your inbox 
and see any unassigned conversations, again, it's just showing up my history and you can take a look at open conversations and solved conversations. You can also hook up Messenger and Instagram from your social accounts if you like. And there's also analytics where you can get full details of all conversations. Next, you can go to the right hand corner here, click over here and you can add an operator. So right now I've just got myself added and you can add a new one over here by just typing in the name, the email address and giving um, permissions. So either they are an admin, which would be full permissions, a moderator or a chat agent. Additionally, you could add different departments and set routing rules. As you can see, this is fully featured and really simple to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.